Yo, 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 it's JSF. How y'all doing? So today I want to talk about spawn and more specifically, more specifically why people don't play spawn. Um, this isn't like a spawn is low tier video, buff spawn video, because you kind of can't buff spawn without breaking him. Like, um, so I'm not just saying buff him, I'm just going to be honest about the character. Um, as somebody who plays spawn and the best spawn main, even though I'm trying to be a rain main now, um, I know a lot about this character, and yeah, I said best spawn main, um, and I will hold anybody to fight me on that. <laughs> but anyway, spawn, right? So what we know about spawn, right? The damage is crazy. You know, that's 33, 34%. That's not even the optimal combo. The optimal I'm going to drop. Oh, wait. Well, if you don't have the glide. Yeah, if you don't have the glide, I guess that, that's close to the optimal. You can go for something like that. 36%. Let's say if you don't have the glide. One bar, 36% combo. Off of 16 frame mid. You know, he's got... Standing 3-4, which if you've ever seen a spawn, if you've ever seen a spawn player play or fought a spawn, you've seen the string, you've seen it. Seen his button, you've seen it. Literally his best thing, it's great. Um, you know, he's got his, he's got his throw crushing blow. The damage you get on this is absolutely absurd. Even though they slightly nerfed that in the patch, and it's not in the patch notes nowhere, that did get slightly nerfed. Um, yeah, he does a shit ton of damage. He's got long range buttons. You know what I mean? Seven frame down one was not a big deal. A throw KB, you know, and you know, he can glide and get him out of some situations, kind of. So why don't people play spawn? He seems like he's got some shit, right? You know, he's got a good fireball. That's a high, but the EX is a mid, you know, shoots two fireballs. Has pretty good recovery and on block, right? If I say do EX fireball from there, it's plus five, so something like this, boom, boom, I'm plus one. Like, he, he seems to have some good tools, right? You know, jab string crushing blow, like, it, you know, he, he's got some stuff, right? So, like, if you look at people's tier list, a lot of tier lists and a lot of opinions, they'll say spawn's really good. Some people will put him in top tier. Some people say A plus tier, S tier, etc. But if he's so good, um, he don't seem too difficult to use, right? Standing 3-4, back 4-3, charge, down to 31% ease. It's an extremely easy combo, right? So what's the problem? Why does nobody play this character if he's got all this shit? He's got a projectile parry that you can cancel that has a crushing blow. Like, he's got a lot of shit, right? He's got a lot of tools, definitely. Now, I want to get into some of his issues, right? So, let's have him block for a second, right? So, Spawn does have a 7 frame jab, 7 frame down 1. Um, his down 3 is 8 frames, and the range is like, it's basically just a terrible version of Nightwolf's down 3. But you know, it's not the end all be all, right? Not the end all be all. Um, his fastest, his fastest string is 12 frames, right? Like, fastest string is not a high. But even, can, even if you want to count high, aside from his jab string, right? Um, so his quote-unquote mid, does, like his fastest mid, is 12 frames. So he doesn't have a real mid. He doesn't have a 9, 10, or 11 frame mid. And the reason that's so important is because, say, we get, say we have good old Aaron Black here. Uh, mash, mash. Are oh, you see that? I'm trying to do four. I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do my fastest mid. As fast as possible when he's mashing down one. In other words, as you can see, right, Aaron Black's down one is six frames. It's minus five. It can be minus four. If you do the math, that means his down one's coming out in eleven frames. My button's coming out in twelve. Or at, at, when he's minus four, it's coming out in ten frames, right? <clears throat> Not to mention the range on the string is pretty terrible. It's kind of like rain back two range. Like it's really really bad. So you got to use this in situations sparingly where you have like a guaranteed hit. So you have to poke a lot with spawn, right? You have to. You have to. That's all you have up close. Like even his jab, the range on his jab is horrible, right? Like the range, his jab is terrible. Now he has a jab string crush and blow, but as you can see, right? Look how close I am. You know what I mean? He has one of the worst jabs in the game. And like you don't think that's important until you see like a Liu Kang jab or something. Or like a Kung Lao jab string, right? Second hit of his jab string comes out in 16 frames, which is really, really slow. It's plus two. You know, you can go for that, um, which is safe. It's minus eight. And, you know, 
that has a crushing blow, but there's a massive gap on that. It's plus seven, but it has hella pushback. So it's not, he doesn't really have the strike throw game, right? That I always talk about, that all the top tier characters have. Like, I watched top eight in A West, and I watched Scar strike throw mix everybody to death. I watched him auto shimmy jab string people. I watched him, like, destroy people with it. It's really powerful. It's one of the most powerful things in this game, uh, strike throw mix. And Spawn doesn't really have it. He doesn't have a great throw game. His movement's good. His movement is good. His movement is definitely good, but it's not like fusion good. It's not like rain good where you where he's that crazy fast. He can move pretty fast, but it's not as crazy as that. So if his up close buttons are pretty trash, his down ones his down one's fine, but as you can see it's minus six. <clears throat> where a lot of pokes are minus five, his is minus six, right? If I can get it from back here, it can be minus five, but at that point it don't really matter. Um so if his up close buttons are trash, his strike throw uh, mix is not really a thing. Well, he where he excels is in this range, the mid range, right? Which is why you see a lot of spawn players down one back dash, right? On block or on hit. On block, you really can't do it as much anymore. But on hit, like you on hit, you can you're plus 15, right? So you can finally go into that reliably. You can go into your jab string reliably. The problem with that is, say I I lend a down one on hit, and then I do this, right? This is hit convertible, right? It's a dial-in string, so once you do it, you do it. But it is convertible. Like, if, if it lands, you can cancel it, right? But if not, you let the whole string rock. Now you're minus six of point-blank range. You can't press anything. You are dead to rights. Like, you're not, not dead to rights. Because you're not punishable. You're very safe. You're minus six. But they now, if they have strike throw mix, get the strike throw mix you. So this is not where you want to be a spawn, right? So it's not like this is really good to do. Like, sometimes I usually cancel and fireball, and I'm trying to stagger it. As you can see, even at point blank range, EX fireball is going to be safe all the time. But um, I try to do this, throw a fireball, and then you can stagger the EX on the fireball, maybe get some more pushback um, to try to get in a more favorable situation. So, spawn does not want to really do that. And it's the same with the jab string, right? I land it down when I go into the jab string. I can go into that, but now I'm minus eight and super close. And most characters have a button that's like around 10, 11 frames from here. So if you try to like back dash, you get bopped. And say I'm fighting the joke, say I'm fighting the Joker, right? I do that, I might say I try to back dash, he forward two, one, two, crush and blow. I'm dead, right? So it's not really the situation you be in. So you want to see, so you see a lot of spawn players like myself want to get back to this range. So I got a down one, I back dash, I'm here. I'm, I'm, I saw somebody say, uh, um, watching my spawn to say he's whiff baiting and I was like that is 1000% correct That's what you do with this character spawn is a character that's designed to punish you for making mistakes, right? So if you're the type of player who's just you know, whatever character you you have, right? I See you whiff. I kill you for it. Like I'm gonna play neutral play footsies I'm gonna just sit here play neutral and when you whiff I'm gonna kill you for it. That's the character um, and it's cool. I love that because I love playing with punishing style characters. I love that he does so much damage because if you make two mistakes, you're already in fatal blow territory. I love it. Um, the problem with that is um, he's reliant on their, his opponent to make mistakes. So at higher levels of play, when your opponent is not just doing shit like this, right? Well, he's not just randomly whiffing buttons like this, right? At higher, like at lower levels, mid levels, you're going to see a lot of random weird shit like that and you're going to kill him for it. Which is why I refer to Spawn as like a scrub killer character. And it's the same with like Kung Lao players, why they hate fighting Spawn. Because he jump, he wants to jump and fly around and dive kick and all that shit. But the thing is you can't block in the air. All that shit's unsafe. So when you do a bunch of unsafe shit, yeah, Spawn's going to give you a hard time. I don't even think that matchup is really that bad for Lao. I just think Lao players don't want to play footsies. They don't want to play the neutral game. <clears throat> Besides Scar. <laughs> But um yeah, so he ha he's really good in this range, but if your opponent doesn't do any of that type of stuff, it doesn't really matter. Like it doesn't if they're not doing anything unsafe. Like theoretically, spawn can't open he doesn't have any mix ups. Like he has this into that, but we can all see that coming a mile away. The the funny part is the overhead in his string, right? It's twenty one frames. It's slower than sub zero's overhead. It's also unsafe on block. It's minus 12, but it leaves you point blank range. Even spawn can jab punish it from that range, right? So this is completely unsafe, and that's the only overhead. You can short hop like every other character, but we know how that goes. Those are all unsafe as well. And he has a low starter, but you gotta be really up super close to get it. I guess down four doesn't have any crazy range or anything. 
and his down four doesn't really set up his offense too well. I say I land down four from here, right? I'm plus 16, but look where it puts him, right? So I land down four, like that'll whiff, right? Um, another issue, speaking of whiffing, right? This is a big issue with spawn. People like to mash a lot online, low pokes, right? If you're trying to whiff punish people, odds are you can get smacked. Like, you, if you time it right, you can hit him, right? Like that. And that's how it should be, right? You can hit him with this as well. But if you're trying to do this, you can get hit like that a lot. And I'm not showing it well, but this happens a lot more often than you think. And if you if you slow this down, you can see the cape whiffing over where Aaron Black's, uh, where like his legs are, where like part of his hurt box is. So the long story short, you can low profile this mid. Um, very possible to low profile that. And then that leads you to want to do this, right? Because this is a high. You can mash and go under this, obviously. This is a mid you can low profile. So it wants you, it, it'll lead you to want to do this. And then when you do, when you do back one a lot, people just jump at you. And people want to jump already. Like, and you're, you're completely dead. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you're, you're going to die for that. So, like, while he, while spawn has really good whiff punishing and he can kill you for, you know, damage, he has a problem from stopping people from mashing on him, stopping people from doing low pokes on him. Like, the most annoying things. Spawn also really has a hard time stopping people from jumping on him. As you can see, that'll work, but if you're a little bit early, you'll get clapped. So it's just, he doesn't have a really good anti-air down to. Can whiff very easily. You know what I mean? It can be beat very easily. That can be beat very easily. But this is his best anti-air button. So, and then um, not to mention, like like I said, like I said before, um, Spawn has a throw crushing blow, right? But the requirement for this throw crushing blow that does so much damage makes it so obvious that it's like, wow, like, you know, what are the odds you're getting it? Triggers a spawn, lands a throw with his back in the corner, right? For those of y'all who don't know, though, um, let's get to the corner left. And then let's have him close. Boom. So, like, here, right? Obviously, it's going to work, right? Well, I have easy crushing blows on. So, here, right? Obviously, it's going to work. I'm completely in the corner. If I take one dash forward, it doesn't work. You know what I mean? Like, you have to really be in the corner. Like, once you're, like, here, you're out of the territory. It's, it's very, very specific. It's very situational. Don't get me wrong. I land this all the time because I down one you, and then, you know, you're in hit stun. And, like, you can't. If you try to press anything, if you do anything with neutral duck, you're going to get hit. You know what I mean? Some people I've down one, like, three times. Or sometimes I, you know... I go with that. And this is one situation where Spawn does get really good strike throw mix. But but the problem is his back's to the corner. <laughs> his back is in the corner. So this is the only time he really gets strike throw mix. Or your opponent can just back away and say, nah, I'm not even going to give you that. Um, one thing that else, another thing that's really good about Spawn is his corner game is great. Like his lockdown corner game, like the punish you for trying to jump out, punish you for trying to wake up roll. His corner game is really, really, really good. And um, if you ever see me play spawn or any, any good spawn players, right? If you get your opponent cornered, it's going to look super lopsided, right? It's going to be really hard for them to deal with that for the most part. But he still has the issues that he has. Um, Not to mention one more thing. You can low profile his mid fireball. And it's not difficult to do at all. And it's not like an Aaron Black and Hurt Box thing. A lot of characters can do it. Um, It's a lot of little weird things like this. I'm trying to show that you can like, yeah, you can get, you can get under both fireballs, basically. If Spawn tries to do like that string into fireballs or something, you can low profile both fireballs and it's kind of really annoying. And, um, yeah, there's a lot of little things like that. So like, think of it this way, Spawn can kill people like if they do unsafe shit, but if they play safe, right, I don't really have any mid screen strike throw mix, right? And theoretically, it's really hard for him to open people up. Like, your opponent has to do unsafe shit. And if they play really clean, you'll never really get to land a hit on them. Um, which is why, like, when I talk about, hey, is a character good or bad, I'm strictly speaking at a high level. At low level, Frost can be broken as hell. At mid level, she can be extremely viable. At a high level, she's the worst character in the game. That's the thing with Spawn. At high levels of play, 
um, you're not going to see him that much because he can't really do that much. Now, he has other moves, right? He has other attacks that you can throw in, like a... Right, you can throw in this move, right? Now he has a... You can do a low off of this string, right? Or you can do the overhead, right? In this move, you can cancel as well. You can get some little gimmicks off of this, like... Uh, you know what I mean? Um, this move also does have a crushing blow. If, uh... Hold on, if you get a, if you get a counter poke, so like, let's say... Let's say I, I'm gonna be Aaron Black, and I'll have... See that right there? I just didn't hold the button, so I didn't get the KB. There we go. But there's even like some, like, that's what should happen. But there's even some dead zones in it, right? Where you can beat it with the move that it parries. So it's, it's, it's just some, some inconsistencies, really. Um, with that move, and I'm not saying that move is bad, but you know. Then we got these are some of his other like custom moves. Like the the custom variations didn't really help spawn at all because he gets moves like this, right? Where he can create a pool of plasma, and what it does is it makes his meter grow back faster, right? Which like seems really cool. Like oh, you can make your meter come back faster. You can do the ex one, and then you know. You get your meter back even more faster. It's cool, but like, there are so many other better things that other characters have that it's just not that big a deal, right? And then like, he has this move where he can get Fatal Blow early, but it does scale damage, like, as you can see, right? And uh, Spawn has the worst Fatal Blow in the game, by the way. And yeah, look, 224 damage. Well, <clears throat> Spawn and Rain have two of the worst Fatal Blows in the game. But it might be spawns because, like, if you see his, uh, like, if you see his fatal blow into, it doesn't have very much range whatsoever. You know, like, it, it's just not great. It's just not great. <laughs> um, yeah, then you have the other moves, like the chain stance. What, like, they're just not that, like, spawns best moves or his variation, too. Not to mention spawn, um, here's some really important. And I'll go back to, uh, well, I don't think I need to. I don't think I need to. I think this variation has a charge, you know? Yes. So, the, another important thing about spawn that's kind of an issue, that I'm, I can't believe it took me too long this long to get to this. Um, you can punish him on hit. So, <laughs> this is probably the biggest issue. Like, you can punish him for hit, for landing, for going for a combo on you. Like, he's very punishable. You can get your entire offense going because he hit you once. Like, you know what I mean? And I know I'm doing it off that string, but um, you can do it off his crush and blow combos. Anytime he has to combo into this or he ends the combo in his restand, which I don't have in his variation, uh, the swipe, you can punish him on hit. So you have to be very particular with your combos. He had to cut your damage, and damage is probably the reason you're playing the character. Um, so it makes it more of an issue like oh shit he can he's very punishable on a hit like when he lands a hit on his opponent which is really stupid um then you have this move right which i think some small players will play you know it's unsafe but you ex it is very safe right um so you get stuff like this or this right and you can make this 50 50 safe one way you know and it's not a 50 50 because that's 21 frames that's 14 frames, right? And that last hit is a mid. So it's not a 50-50. It's just a little gimmick you can throw into your game plan. But like I, like I said, he's got a lot of little gimmicks and shit you can try. But none of it is like completely real, right? Um, yeah, and he just has a bunch of little issues that just keep him away from... Keep him away from being really top tier. So between being punishable on the hit... So when... Like a lot of times... If my opponent has meter... If my opponent has meter and I land this... I just do that, 21%. You know, if they have meter and I land this and they don't break early, <clears throat> I just do that because you can literally wait. You can literally wait until the perfect point where you know, okay, this is the time I can get his ass.
Like, I can let you get that whole combo off just so I can punish you. You know what I mean? Like, I can say, eh, I'll just break away late and take the free punish. If he goes for that. So, it's just something really important. And that that's the thing with Spawn. Like, if you look at Spawn from the outside looking in, he looks very powerful. He looks like a really strong character. But once you pick him and have him in your hands, you go, oh, wait, I can't just do that? Which is why I love when other people pick Spawn against me. I'm like, you don't know all his weaknesses. Like, this looks great until you realize this is unsafe. It's minus 16, right? This is minus 8. Like, you got to commit to it. You can't just do this, right? Like, this looks absurd until you realize, you know, it's got some whiff recovery, and you realize that's minus 17. So you have to cancel it or something. That's not safe, and it's high, right? Like I said, you can go under that. Um, some characters can, can duck it and, and jump in and punish it, or, you know, use another move. Sub-Zero can just crouch slide through it. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. So you got to commit to, like, this to try to make yourself safe. Um, and that might whiff. Or commit to something unsafe because every other special is unsafe. You can do this, right? But you see how it says minus 16? So you can get away with that once or twice, minus 14. You can get away with it a couple of times. But if your opponent is reading it and they know to look for it, they can still punish you and you gave up defensive meter, right? Not that it doesn't come back fast and shit, but just something else to think about, right? So his offense, while it seems very simple, seems very easy, you got to be really careful. And he has to worry about things that other characters just don't have to worry about, right? He has a good fireball, but it can be low profile. So you got to worry about that. Um, you know, he can do high damage, but he's got to worry about you breaking away and punishing him, right? Um, he has a throw crush and blow, but it's only with his back to the corner. And obviously, if your back's to the corner and you go for a throw, that's an obvious read. They can down to crush and blow you. Like, you know what I mean? Like, at low levels, when they don't know, they're like, eh, you know, they don't really pay attention. That's why I say, look, like, if you ever watch me play spawn and I get my back to the corner, I just say, look, come here. I'm just going to throw you because you're not going to tech it. You don't know it. Like, if, if I don't have respect for the person I'm playing, I'm like, you're not good. You're not taking this throw. Stop it. But a high level player, you're not getting that off. Nah, they'll, they'll rather take the combo. Because the crush and blow throw combo does way more damage, right? But anyway, um, I think that covers about most of it. His sweep is really, really good. Um, he has some things that are really, really good. I'm not saying he's a terrible character. I honestly think, like, his stand to his stand frame is crazy. Um, I honestly think that spawn... Uh, oh, there's even more. There's one more thing I do want to bring up. Um, like I said, with his jab being stubby, this being high, and, you know, there are certain moves that are designed to be very easy to punish. Like, let's say Scorpion's Death Spin, right? It's like minus 19, minus 20, minus 21, depending on the range. It's supposed to be very easy to punish. Spawn has a really, really hard time punishing that move, right? He has a really hard time punishing that move because he just, like, he doesn't really have anything. Like, his, like, you would think reversal charge, reversal fireball, no. You have to slightly micro dash up 3-4. And if you just get standing 3-4, it'll whiff, and you're unsafe now. Because you can't cancel this on whiff, right? And now, think about online. Online, where everything is even more laggy and harder to confirm or harder to, you know, actually get. It becomes a big problem. And then characters like Aaron Black who mash on him, right? Speaking of that, there's one more thing I want to bring up. And I know this video is mad long, but I just want to lay it all out for everybody. So another big, big reason that Spawn, like people just don't play Spawn, is he has some very polarizing matchups. Um, and this is one, one example of one. So we got Jade here, right? So Jade has a parry, a projectile invincible move, right? I wasn't saying projectile parry, but she has glow, she has long range buttons, and she has zoning, right? Now Jade is really good. Jade is probably top tier. She's really good. Um, I know people don't believe that. People don't really see it. Look at her movement, godlike. Um, because a lot of the people that pick Jade are low-level players or mid-level players, but Jade's a very powerful character. But Spawn has this issue, right? He wants to play he wants to play footsies. He wanna play the mid-range game, right? Well, so does Jade. She's got long range buttons too, right? You you're not alone in that. She can hit you from ranges that you can hit her at. And if you stick a button out, you're trying to fish and you're wrong and you whiff, she can, you know what I'm saying? Is that the end of the world? No, but it resets neutral. Glow zone. And there's nothing he can do about it, right? Like, let's say Jade is back here, glow. Like, what what can Spawn do at this point, right? But try to get in, right? And he has, he has good mobility for it, right? So, like, let's say we get... 
but she glows. I try to come in and press buttons, you know, like I have to deal with her buttons. And it's not even as it's not even as simple as that. Because Jade also has a parry. So I can get slapped for trying to for trying to play my footsie game. So and this is not just a Jade thing, right? There's a lot of characters like this. Basically, if you have like a, a parry, if you have anything that can stop you from like let's say Kotokan, right? Kotokan's parry will, can catch spawns fireballs, right? Um, he, it can stop spawns, uh, you know, game as well. And he has really good movement. And he had outranges spawn, right? So that matchup isn't amazing for spawn. I'm not going to say he loses it, but it's not great, right? Um, a character like Robocop, who has really good zoning and a parry. I can't zone him back. And if I try to get close to him and try to play footsies, if he uses that parry right it's really polarizing. Now, his parry doesn't stop lows, so Spawn can hit you with a low, but at, like I said before, his low has no range. He has sweep. He does have sweep, right? But his sweep um, doesn't lead to anything. It, it's not like, it's it's like a weak punish. So like, if you're doing a parry and I sweep you for it, cool, 7% damage. Like, you, you took 7%, that's not gonna discourage you from doing it again, right? So I'm gonna have to sweep you like 10 times and like who's gonna make the mistake ten times? They might make it three or four or five, but they're not gonna just keep doing parry over and over and over if they keep getting swept, right? So it's it's stuff like this. So it's stuff like, you know, um the polarizing matchups, not really having a strike throw game, um, having like his the only time he really gets strike throw makes it back in the corner and you know the throw is predictable there. He can get mashed on very easily. He gets a low profile on at like like J2, her down four. If she's mashing down for it, like, this will give him trouble. Like, this will... I'm trying to forward two, right? Now I gotta back up, and then I whiff, right? It really gives him trouble, and I gotta back one. And, you know, J players like to jump. Like, it, it becomes a real problem. So the most mindless way to play this game, mash down one, mash down four, um, zone, throw the glow on, you know what I'm saying? It becomes very powerful against a character like this, which is really sad because he's really well-designed in the sense of his play style is really cool, but he just can't execute at the highest level. And, like, he can't get in. Once he gets in your face, he's at a disadvantage. The best characters, the good characters, when they get in your face, they're at an advantage. Even Jade, right? They have, you know, 9, 10, 11 frame mids, um, decent jab string, strike throw mix. Like, they have a way to enforce that offense up close. He has a way to enforce this mid-range game. But like I said, if you back up away from him or you get closer to him, you're probably in a favorable position. So he dominates at his game at his game, but Mortal Kombat 11 is not his game. <laughs> anyway, so that's basically why people don't play Spawn. I know this video is super long, but you know, it's a lot. It's, you don't have to talk about a lot. Um, he's he's not a terrible character. Like he's better than like Frost or something, but he'll never be top tier because of the way he's designed. And if you do fix him to give him the tools to be top tier, you need to nerf his damage. It's way too fucking high. You would have, like, if you wanted him to make spawn top tier, you would have to nerf him and then buff him in other places. Just because he would be the most broken character in the game. If he just got, like, if this became 10 frames, let's say this became 10 frames, his jab range got extended, and um, this, this last hit became like cancelable or something like that right then he would be bro he'd be fucking broken he'd be broken and that's really all he would need because now he could well i would say maybe make the second hit of the string a little faster then he'd be broken but anyway that is why nobody plays spawn coming from the best spawn player in the world and somebody who plays a lot of spawn and a lot of combat league so if y'all like the video sub to the channel if y'all stuck around this long i genuinely appreciate you catch me out on catch me out on twitch streaming and on youtube streaming too See y'all soon, man. Have a good one. JSF, I'm outie. Peace.